Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to anyone who is new. Today's video, oh, today's video is gonna be a grocery haul. I almost said video haul. <laughs> um, but I'm starting out in the bathroom because I always end up doing my intros in here because then I go get busy or there's someone in the kitchen or the living room, whatever, and I end up doing voiceovers. It just depends. But <clears throat> just got a Walmart grocery delivery. We're starting out our Thanksgiving stock up, which is crazy. It is October 9th. So it's definitely early, but this is how I always do it. It keeps me from having to buy it all at once. And also if we end up with shortages, I have what I need. So I'll explain what items I got that are Thanksgiving and what items I got that are every day. Um, please remember to subscribe, have your notification bell on. The Thanksgiving stock up series has always been a favorite of everybody here. They always have the highest views and comments. Um, I normally end up with about six videos or so. So this will be video number one and I'll have playlist links and linked in the description for grocery hauls, fall 2024 playlist, all that so you can keep up. But if you have your notifications on, you will know when I upload. So here's what we got. It's kind of stacked up messy like because it was a lot of bags. I got one of these market side spinach artichoke flatbreads. I don't know why, but I love this. And then I got two bags of the <clears throat> pipe cleaners, the metallic ones. I'm going to make like a Christmas chain thing with it, I think. I got some Christmas colored ones to mix in as well. Got some of the extra Sleepy Time tea. I have not tried this one, but I have always drank just regular Sleepy Time throughout my life. But I, I had, the one that I had has expired and I wanted to try the extra. I'm told it works good though. Was running low on this. Willow takes these sometimes and they seem to help. So I got her another bottle of those. Two bags of the frozen broccoli. Um, I have a lot of little freezer foods mixed in here because our freezer is being condensed down. I try to cook everything out of it close to winter because we need room for um, deer meat and stuff. So I needed to stop back up on some things. One of the things was chicken nuggets. So I got these because everybody likes those. Willow asked for these. Um, oh, I thought it said the eighth. Yeah, they're good. At first they said these were out of stock. And then before I went to put my order in, it said it was there. So got the seasoned batter mix french fried potatoes i think michael's favorite is the cajun season or the the seasoned fries whatever and then these next so i didn't find the other ones i got him those some thin cut ones just for everybody and then i don't know why but i randomly thought i wanted steak cut fries with something so i bought some of those and fries are so expensive now i used to buy like five bags and you know pay maybe six dollars for them all and i could stock up two pound is three bucks so we only got three bags of those I've been trying out the Better Goods cheese. I don't know why, but the Better Goods one is not super powdery coated with that weird filler. So, um, you know what? This expires like tomorrow. I can't believe that. Okay. So, we'll either freeze that or have to use it quick. Um, but I don't think I've tried this one. I just got that one. And then we were out of Pepper Jack and other sliced cheese. But I'm trying to condense this grocery bill down. So, I only got the one almost out of instant mashed potatoes and I like to mix the instant with a little bit of like a whole cooked potato so it tastes homemade but it also saves some time um and Michael loves these so I got a roasted garlic loaded bake I'm gonna try out the cheddar sour cream butter and herb buttery home style buttery home style golden select and the um baby reds garlic parmesan one so apparently we bought a lot of potato products <laughs> um I have not smelled these yet let me smell them right quick Okay, I really like this one. It's very spicy smelling. Um, I would buy it again. And also, I think it'd be good melting one of these with like a vanilla cube. This one smells good, but I don't get cranberry oatmeal cookie. I almost get like a cranberry fresh scent. Kind of reminds me more of spring or something. But these are only a dollar. So, got a red onion for salad, which I have a, an iceberg um, salad mix, whatever, in the fridge but it was not looking good at all so I threw it in there hopefully it'll last till tomorrow but that's for that salad I ordered two gracious this won't quit falling I ordered two bunches of green onions and they gave me four so I don't know if I was double charged or if they were maybe just trying to get rid of some I don't know but I only needed two so I'll cut some up and freeze them three more cucumbers willow eats these for a snack and I still want to make the I don't remember what it's called, but like the whole cucumber recipe thing everybody's doing. Got some pop tarts. I just get the great value. If there's anything that we can just sacrifice for, like it tastes pretty good, but we can pay half the price for it and not be a name brand, I always do that. There's a little box of fully cooked bacon down there. 
I really want a BLT, so I got one slicing tomato. It needs to ripen a little bit, though. Then I'll use that on it, and then Willow will eat some of it as well. This is her favorite, so I got... I thought... Again, here's another thing. I'm pretty sure I ordered one, and I got two, so I need to go back and check um, some limes. Years ago, I started making the drink that they called Dirty Coke, Dirty Dr. Pepper, whatever, and I had kind of forgotten about it like it was back when we first got married I think I heard about it so that was almost 12 years ago but I've made it since then and forgotten about it at different times and I'll remember and want it and I saw someone share a picture or a reel or something making it the other day and it made me want it again so I got the limes for that got some tomatoes Willow and I just like these for a snack but I have a bruschetta craving so I needed those for it and um kind of hard how I'm having to do this <laughs> There's the Diet Dr. Pepper that I got for the drink. This was a substitute, but it'll get eaten. And then I got two of the Baguette Demi Loafs for the bruschetta. I'm honestly just sometimes appalled at the fact that people don't care no more than this. This is literally a container of gooey, slimy, black leaves that expire in like four or five days. Either way, they were either pre ruined or left out of the cooler, and someone just picked it up and thought that that was totally fine to give to me, but headed to the trash so luckily I have some like squeeze tube basil so I've had a lot of people I've never had much hate comments or anything but one of the things that I have received on reels and stuff in the past is people commenting that I ticked off the Italian people or that that wasn't fresh basil because I was using the squeeze one and the minced garlic but this is why I don't do it I can't see I don't really have room to grow all the seasonings that I would use and I can't seem to keep some of them alive and I don't really care. It's convenient. It tastes good. Whatever. But this is why I don't ever get the fresh one. So stick with my squeeze tube. Won't have a problem. Got this for the bruschetta. I don't always top mine with cheese. But I kind of like the taste with it on the side. Two hot dog buns. I've got some hot dogs in the freezer. I'll grill later this week. Or I might do that tonight. We'll see. And then um, I've been using this because Ibotta has had up to $5 back one week. And then I think this week was maybe a dollar. Stuck on the Downy Light Ocean Scent, but they are really expensive. And if they don't have the coupon, especially, I don't get it. Trying to cut my grocery bill down, so this is my second alternative. I miss this. Walmart's having sale days right now, I think, because Amazon's doing their Prime Days. And they have these Woodwick candles for only $5. And I try to here and there grab one or two candles to keep mine built up. It's just one of my little things that is my luxury, I guess. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed it does smell nice but it smells more like a lotion to me and i thought for sure with the cardamom that it would be kind of spicy but it's really musky cashmere type smell so it smells like something that would be in a spa it's not bad i just that's not what i wanted <laughs> um got some of this jelly if you eat strawberry jelly this is the superior one got some more olive oil i'm about to start making bread again and one of the sourdough discard loaves that i like is made out or has i think a cup or maybe a third of a cup. I don't know. It has olive oil in it and I was running low. I only got one can, but I did get a can of cranberry sauce. And the reason why, normally I'd get about four to six cans. That way I had enough throughout the holidays. But it goes on sale closer to time. I know I'll get it cheaper. But just by chance that I don't, I always get one or two cans where I know for sure I have some. So this is the part of the Thanksgiving stock upside, by the way. Um, two cans of the sweetened condensed milk. There is... I think a pie that I make that calls for that or something at Thanksgiving time. Um, this is just to keep some stocked up on the shelf. We don't go through it a lot, but I like to have some on hand. Got four cans of beef, beef broth. I don't know why that's so hard to say. And I got four of them and then I got four of the reduced sodium chicken broth. I use these broths and stuff and canned goods every week, but I already had a few of each of these. I'm just trying to build up my stock for Thanksgiving so that's really the intention of these products as well as the evaporated milk I don't really use much of ev evaporated milk throughout the year but come holiday time there's several recipes and a few soups that call for it four cans of the no salt French style green beans this is Thanksgiving um, recipe stuff stock whatever so that's for the casserole I got four of those Willow wanted sweet potato. She doesn't really like real sweet potato, but she loves the puree. So we still get these are the pouches and the pouches are hard to get. So each week I normally have sweet potato or squash for her. And then on the pouch, I try to get the one that's like the blueberry kale one because it gives her like a green vegetable pouch, but they stay out of stock. So this was a substitute, which she likes those. 
just gotta take what you can get um i got some ground sage this is one of the things that i always feel like last minute i remember that i need some of for my thanksgiving dressing and turkey brine so i went ahead and got that while i thought of it this is two dollars now by the way this used to be a dollar needed some paprika i might actually have a little bit but i go through a lot of this so it didn't matter um this is for the olive garden type salad that i'm gonna have with soup later this week the coconut cream creamer is for the drink, the Dr. Pepper drink I was talking about. I also think there was something else I used to do with this. Maybe add a splash of it to sparkling water is what it was. Um, but I don't use a lot of it, so I have to find ways to use it up. Then a half gallon of milk. Got a whole gallon. They were out. I figure it's because of the hurricane and everything that things are low, so that works good enough. Um, I was going to buy a bag of these because I want to start grabbing some cookie mix to stick back for when I start baking. And I want some of the easier stuff. I don't want to do everything homemade. And um, I was going to get one. But if you bought two Betty Crocker products on Walmart and maybe even Ibotta, you got a dollar back. So I did go ahead and just buy a brownie mix. And then I got some bananas. Once again, they're all at the same stage. So it always ends up that either we have to give some to somebody else to eat some before they go bad. Or we have to freeze them and use them to cook with. Because even if you put them in the fridge, I feel like they're still not the same. So... But I'm not complaining. We did get them, so that's good. I forgot. I got a dozen and a half eggs, I think. Yeah, gotta check those. And then two loaves of white bread. I eat wheat most of the time, grain bread, all that. But there's a few things that I want white bread for, and Michael wants it. So have to have some stock for him and also sometimes put one in the freezer. So that is all that we got on this video. Again, this is part one of the Thanksgiving stock up series. You can look in my description for the grocery haul playlist. It will have previous Thanksgiving stock ups from the years past that you can look at and also have fall 2024 playlist linked where you can catch up on any of those and keeping the notifications on ensures that you'll see part two, three, four, however many we end up having. Thank y'all for watching this video. Hope you subscribe. See you next time.